Isaiah 9, we've got here a prophecy about how Jesus preached the gospel in Israel. And he talks here about how the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, that's in northern Israel, were always despised. But he says, to you who were so despised and suffered so much, who were always being invaded and suffering, a glorious light is going to arise beyond the river Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. Those people who walked in darkness will see a great light. What he's saying is that the Lord Jesus began his ministry there, up there in northern Galilee, in the very areas that were despised, that were called Galilee of the Gentiles by the other Jews. Oh, that's Gentile territory up there. The despised, the spiritually weak, as they were perceived, were the first people to have the light of the gospel preached to them in the ministry of Jesus. Now, there you see absolutely God at his most typical and characteristic. He loves to turn things upside down. He loves to choose the humble and work with them, to choose those who are despised and glorify them. And you can see the way that his own son was not born in a, a, a great wealthy family in Jerusalem. He was born to a poor teenage girl who was probably barefoot and pregnant, if ever. And she gave birth to him in in a stable, because there was no room for them in the hotel. I guess they didn't have enough money. You see, this is how it is. God does not choose the eloquent and the clever kids. He chooses the obscure and the people like you and me. So when you think of your own smallness and your own obscurity, which is who you are, no matter how smart you might be in some parts of your life, that's who you and me are. You see, this is typical of how God works. He wants to use the small, the despised, and the, the obscure to do great things for him. The Bible is full of him doing things like this. And we've just got to go with the program and rejoice that that is his style. 